yeah, we're live, everybody. Oh, God. Hey, it's Steve and I in the same room. Hi, By the hi. way, I do want to say, are you ready? No, but let's do it. Get ready with your thing because <laughs> no it's just going to take a gonna second. Work. Go for it. You know, you know you're getting older when you tell your wife that you had a dream that you were making out with a supermodel while eating a large plate of baking. Bake, baking. Baking. You're let's start great. that over. <laughs> You know you're getting older when you tell your wife you had a dream that you were making out with a supermodel while eating a large plate of bacon and she is jealous of the bacon. <laughs> Since 2020, we've done plenty of virtual comedy shows online and though the virus is slowing, we'll keep going because we've still got lots of hydroxychloroquine and ivermectin hello and welcome to a virtual comedy show here are some etiquette guidelines for a virtual comedy show please arrive 15 minutes early please be quiet except for laughing we've been a zoom meeting civilization for two dang years you know the drill just be polite we would like to see your face as part of the audience let's be social not just distant so get comfortable plan to laugh but not heckle and let's make our semi-quarantined world a bit more normal for a little while thanks and enjoy the virtual comedy show it's the Virtual Comedy Show, starring Brad Tassel and Steve Goody. Tonight, Brad and Steve welcome comedian Patrick Devine. Plus funny songs from the two of us for now. And a patty melt from Patty Vasquez. And much, much more. Now, please welcome Brad Tassel. And Steve Goody, are you staying or going? I'm going. I can't believe that worked. You're going to go. I can't believe that worked either. That was Steve Goody. I'm going to move to the center because, thank God, he's gone. Hey, uh, he's been crowding me all week. I'm here now with the butler. So, uh, hi, everyone. Oh, God, now he's back there. Go stand behind Starry, Starry Night. So, by the way, so uh, welcome, everybody. And, Patrick, it's good to see you for the first time. I, I, I can see your shoulder in a window. So, it's real nice that you're riding on a train. Uh, welcome to the Virtual Comedy Show. We've got a great show, uh, maybe, later. So, uh, And I've just looked at these jokes, and I wonder if I've done some of these before. So here we go. I mentioned uh, my dream, which actually happened uh, one time, where I had a dream that I was uh, making out with a supermodel and eating bacon. And when I woke up, my wife was only really <laughs> jealous of the bacon. And uh, she said, you ate, because we haven't had bacon since 2014. And I said, what about the supermodel? She goes, you get that. Go ahead. So uh, <laughs> it is it is funny. It is funny that as you get older, you know, sex changes. It gets harder on your body. Has anybody else noticed that? My wife said that uh, after making love, it feels like she rode a really old wooden roller coaster now. It's just like, you know, my back, my spleen. <laughs> You know, which is true, which is true because she makes me wait in line at least 30 minutes every time. So it's <laughs> in the background, the fake oh, mask help. Oh man, I know it's going to be more of that. And as you get older, the preparation for a night of love making gets longer. So I know the first sign I know my wife and I might be uh, doing it is when I come home and she's covering everything up with plastic sheeting and towels. I know that's going to be possible. And I'm like, what, are you going to murder me? What's going to go on? Is this Dexter or something? I just don't get it. Of course, that explains why my grandma and grandpa covered the couch in plastic. <laughs> yeah, you're all thinking about your grandparents having sex now, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> Just my wow! You're thinking of my grandparents having sex, Steve? That's uh, I'll show you the pictures later. We still got them on uh, on microfiche. Uh, oh dear! That was my pet. My grandpa's pet name was microfiche. Tell you the size of that little thing. So anyway, wow, we're in trouble. I'm sorry the butler had to hear all this. Uh, but now the first joke, first joke from the news, everybody. Uh, Michigan medical students walked out of the induction ceremony to protest the keynote speaker, Dr. Kristen Collier, who is anti-abortion. Did y'all see this? They walked yeah. out. Uh, that's right, thank you. Some audience members also left. Now, you may not know, Dr. Collier directs the medical school's program on spirituality and religion, <laughs> which, <laughs> which, which is about as useful as oncology cures using dance. 
<laughs> Martha Graham fixed my spleen tumor, everybody. It's in remission. Okay, there you go. Sorry, that was my first and exciting joke. Uh oh, it won't come off. No, Steve! I've oh, lost all the jokes. Up, well, it looks like I'm holding them from now on, everybody. <laughs> all right, hey, did you all know this? That I'm going to set this right here. I got an MRI on my knee today. Did you know that? And I think I'm I think I'm banned from the lab. It's a, it was a problem. Uh, is it bad that when they slide you into the machine, you yell "Torpedo One, ready for fire"? That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> then, as soon as they do that, they tell you not to move. You cannot move, which means I'm moving first of all. And then they ask you what music you want to listen to while. You, and I think I picked wrong because I went for speed metal. And, uh, that just I bounced around that thing like tin foil in a microwave. We tell you so, but it's all their fault. So, all right, that was my thing. Oh, and you all know that I finished my last trip to Bermuda this last week. That is literally I have spent twelve days in Bermuda now. Uh, wow, can you believe that? Uh, now, a quick, I was in the Uber being taken to the ship for the last trip to Bermuda, and the Uber driver asked me. Uh, aren't you scared of the Bermuda Triangle? Is that real? And I said, you know, the Bermuda Triangle is real. But what it really is, is you're in Bermuda, you go shopping, buy a meal, and go on an excursion, and your 401k disappears. Because <laughs> it's expensive. Oh! Yeah, give me a, give me a, give me a, give me a, give me a uh, Ed McMahon. Oh, oh, sir. Now, did you see this? Uh, and I have so little faith in this. Here we go. But I like the premise. It's real. <laughs> well, as long as you, I'll put that laugh on the end in the edit. A pastor, a pastor known for wearing designer outfits and extravagant jewelry was robbed while live streaming his sermon. Did anybody see that? <laughs> Million dollars worth of jewelry. Million dollars. Three men with guns entered the church and took more than a million dollars from his preacher and his wife. Now, there are no idea who the culprits were that broke into this holy place and stole gifts from a sham preacher, but this happened in Brooklyn, so cops are looking for three wise guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, follow that star, everybody. <laughs> follow that star. Hey, hey, that one turned out pretty well. All right, let's rip the last two pages off of here. Okay, here's the one nobody's going to be happy with. Uh -oh. Republican Congressman Glenn Thompson, who, uh, if you've seen him, he looks like a penis inside one of those pumps they sell in porn magazines. <laughs> Not that I've ever seen those, Steve. Not that I've ever seen those. He voted against gay marriage and then attended his son's gay wedding. <laughs> voted against it. In his marriage toast, Thompson said that they were blessed by his son's new husband and he is rooting for their love. <laughs> but no one knows is by rooting, he means he's going to shove his nose there and dig it up and spit it out. That's Okay, see, that's, I didn't think that was it. Okay. Let's go back to the one before about the three wise men, shall we? Yeah. Okay, guys. Now the long one. Matt Gates. <laughs> Who's a cow? What? Matt Gates. <laughs> Matt Gates, who seems to actually be the son of Eddie Munster in a jar of hair gel. <laughs> he spent his speech at the Turning Point USA Student Action Summit in Tampa. He spent it saying that pro-choice women shouldn't worry about the lack of medical care for women because they are too fat and ugly for anyone to get pregnant anyway. Did y'all see this? Yep. He said they are all five foot three and 350 pounds, which of course is abhorrent to Gates because 12 year olds never get taller than five three. So, uh, 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 uh. Now, but I will want to say a sicko child toucher attacking adult women is not the story here. It is that every student in that conference, at least the ones who weren't, you know, frat twits who were fingering their roofies, thinking about the post-speech mixer, 
Every other student in that room didn't get up and walk out, especially the female students. How much do you hate yourself that you sit there cheering endless misogyny? I mean, that's like millions of Smurfs suddenly saying, maybe Gargamel is right. We are tasty. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to let Walter in so we can get the big laugher into the show. Walter, Walter's in. Walter. All right, I've only got two more, and neither of them are funny. Here we go. Okay. Number one, it's a sad day for your childhood. The Klondike Company has discontinued the Choco Taco. Yes, did anybody love the Choco Taco? Yeah. Yes, it is the ice cream that is shaped like a taco that debuted in 1980. Now, it did last much longer than the rival dessert, the Dorito Burrito. Dorito <laughs> Burrito. Okay, fine. Oh, Steve, we should never do this together again. Okay. And you know what? Steve's the one that drank a margarita. Last one. And I, no faith. I spent no time today, you can tell. Tony Dow. Who knows who that is? Yes. Yep. yep. Tony Dow, who became a household name in the late 50s as Wally Cleaver, died this week. Very sad. He had a long career as an actor and TV director, but will be forever known as giving a lot of business to the beaver. <laughs> oh, God. Steve, where are you? Where are you? Get back in here quickly. Brad. Brad. The wife came out and said she made a mistake. He didn't die. He's just in hospice. That's right. He's not dead, really? He's not dead, so your whole premise is not oh, dead. Are you serious? No, Tony Dow. Tony Dow is him him dead. Dead. And yes. then said, oops, uh, he's only in hospice. Oh, my God. I decided while Brad was delivering that masterful monologue to sketch him, and uh, this is what I've come up with. Anybody, is that right? That's very good. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter in high school. Draw a lot like his daughter in high school. I got to turn right. the air down. It is hotter than yeah, hell, the hell in here. Of. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm feeling very comfortable. Well, let's. But I'm not the one who did Bring up jokes. your. Bring up uh, Patrick. I don't want to bring up Patrick yet. Oh no, you want to do Patrick? Uh, That's what I want to do. I Thank you, boss. Okay. Brad's very bossy when I'm at his house. That's Hi, everybody. Great. Let's do it one more time for Brad and his jokes. Yeah, right. All righty, and he's gonna heckle me. Back there. Let's I do. Will. Let's do a top. Can anyone hear me? Doing this tech from Brad's house is challenging, right. so I'm doing my best. Here we go. Let's do the top 10 list thingy. <laughs> Any second now. We got like 81 degrees in here. Here we go. Any second, it's going to play. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's time for the top 10 list, as we do every week. Doing it from Brad's house up here in Bowling Green. I'd give you the exact address, but his wife's worried about stalkers from people who are offended yes. by his jokes. So we're not going to do that. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, coming up in 2024 is the 50th anniversary of one of my favorite films, Young Frankenstein. Anybody else? Years. I noticed that. And I also noticed that 2024 is going to be a fairly important political year. So tonight's top 10 category is... Top 10, I hope you can see this at all. Top 10 updated lines from the 50-year anniversary reboot of Young Frankenstein, which happens to coincide with the 2024 election. <laughs> okay. What okay. could be simpler than that? Let's do it. <laughs> Number 10. It's pronounced Frankenholly. Run, Josh, run! <laughs> <laughs> Don't even know what it means. Number 9. I am Frau Blucher. <laughs> 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 Seven cow. That has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> Number eight. You haven't even touched your food. That's because it's Chick fil A. Who's the real monster around here, you bigoted jerk? <laughs> <laughs> Number seven. Please vote blue. We really don't want to hand it to the Trumpy white nationalists. Look him up! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Number six. What in the wide, wide world of sports is going on here? I hired you to keep me out of prison, not to dance around like a bunch of Mar-a-Lago nitwits. Oops, sorry. That was from Blazing Traders. <laughs> a mix up there. I'm sorry. Number five. No, I am Frau Blucher. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what any of these mean. I don't either. Number four. 
Igor, are you telling me that I put an abnormal brain into a 300-pound orange reality show host? It's Igor. I know, but I went with <laughs> Igor. I get to say. I get to say. <laughs> Number three. Could be worse. Could be Rudy. Uh, <laughs> I'm on the wrong one. That's why this isn't working. <laughs> I can't even read it at all. I've been on the wrong one the whole time. Number two. I'm rather a brilliant surgeon. Perhaps I could help you with that hump. What Trump? He lost, you big dummy. <laughs> and the number one updated line from the 50-year anniversary reboot of Young Frankenstein, which happens to coincide with the 2024 election. What knockers? Hmm. I guess they didn't change that one. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. It's Brad uh, Castle, everybody. Heavens to Betsy. Top ten, everybody. Thank Top you. ten. By the way, I was there. I uh, I drew a, a picture of Steve. So <laughs> Thank there you go. Too. Can't see it at all, but that's very it's nice. Vulture. It's an amazing it's likeness. You can't tell. Oh, vulture. Sure. Oh, it's anti-Semitism now. I get it. Actually, oh, really? <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, my daughter. These are my daughters. She's drawn all these. She's she very talented. And she doesn't we know. Don't, we don't know where she gets it. Yes. No, right. Yes. No. Your tie, by the way. Um, we're switching things around a little tonight. Normally, we'd go to the musical guest, but tonight we're going to go to the headliner first. So can you bring in uh, I can. Patrick for us? That'd Patrick really is here somewhere. Let's get him. Any second Let's now. get him. Add spotlight. Look. Hey, look. It's Patrick, everybody. Hey. Hey. Hi, Patrick. Hey. I feel goofy sitting here know, like very this. very weird. Patrick. Here's what's going to happen, Patrick. We're going to run an intro thing for you, and then we're going to spotlight you. You give us 10 minutes of awesomeness, all right? Sweet. Okay, here it. it comes any second now if I can make it work. It's time for our big headliner. Got some funny, funny jokes to say. I'll do a 10-minute set headliner. Man, I'm so glad that it's Thursday. Patrick Devine. It's Tuesday. Have we discussed that it's yep. Tuesday? Good today? point. Nope. <laughs> nope. I forgot All to right. change that thing. Oops. Well, I'm going to read you some jokes. <laughs> okay. Thanks for having me. Uh, do you guys go to Church's Chicken? Have done. I used to. I go to Church's Chicken, but not religiously. <laughs> just on like christmas and easter <laughs> we used to go christmas uh thank you uh i like buffalo wings do you guys like the buffalo wings yes yes yeah. i like the i like my buffalo wings a certain way i like my buffalo wings like i like my lord and savior jesus christ of nazareth i, oh. do. I like my buffalo wings uh, tender and mild. <laughs> Lord. Thank you. Uh, we're going to talk about it. This is about uh, Jesus. This whole set is about religion and Jesus. <laughs> so it's pretty good stuff. Yeah. Uh, do you think Jesus, you guys like Jesus? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Guys like Jesus. Yeah. Uh, do you think Jesus's close friends called him G's? <laughs> <laughs> I've never thought of that before, but that's an interesting question. It is an interesting question. <laughs> like he'd probably be pretty relaxed about it, you know. He didn't seem like a dick, or you know. <laughs> I went to the Philistines. Yeah, he'd probably be cool. And like, what if maybe this happened? Like, what if he was introduced to someone named Louise? Nah. That happened. <laughs> and then Jesus it was Louise. like Louise, G's, G's, Louise. <laughs> I mean, come on. I can't remember some of this. So that's a point. That's a fair point, I think. Um. Yeah. Uh. He. It goes on to say he probably think that was funny. You know, the G's Louise thing. Yeah. He probably had a good so sense too. of humor. You know, he's probably like a cool dude you'd want to sit down and have a pint of water with. <laughs> <laughs> also, hey, do you think he ever accidentally turned water into vinegar? 
just accidentally <laughs> or maybe he was like goofing around and was like just to fuck with people yeah hey guys look drink this <laughs> but but honestly though guys jesus with a name like jesus i'm surprised he didn't turn water into tequila i mean give me a break <laughs> <laughs> over here um what don't you think what about this thought don't you think it would be well i'll do a different one uh, <laughs> Brad's act. Yes, that's Brad's. you know when you see a, you know when you see a set of fossilized footprints alone in a like a set of sands in a some Hey, what about this? <laughs> what does this say? You know when you see a set of fossilized footprints alone in like some sandstone? Would you like? Was that yeah. when God was carrying a dinosaur? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> come on, I mean, for real though. That was a good one. Also, do you think that King James actually penned his version of the Bible himself? Else or do you think he had a Holy Ghost writer? <laughs> oh, wait, there's more. Oh, and one other thing. Do you know that, you know that part in the Bible where there was the flood and then there was a rainbow? Mm -hmm. And then God said that the rainbow was his sign that he was never going to do the flood again? Mm -hmm. Well, what does a double rainbow mean? Is that God saying, like, no, but for real, for real. Takes these back seats. For real, for real. <laughs> so, what do you what do you think about that? Uh, hey, hey when God closes a window, another one opens up. Geez, I need a new pop up blocker. <laughs> 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 so that's good uh don't you think it would be slightly anti-semitic to kill your jewish son just so that sinning christians could be redeemed for their sins <laughs> yeah I mean, jesus christ <laughs> jesus <Jeez>, louise <laughs> so technically those are jokes <laughs> <laughs> technically you guys like uh, MacGyver? Uh huh. Yeah. We're yeah. gonna move right off now. of uh, literal Jesus and onto MacGyver, <laughs> who is not literally Jesus, but <laughs> he's great. You guys like MacGyver? Yeah. Yeah. He's watch it all the time. Man, he's he's good. good. I love that guy. Mm -hmm. He could get out of a jam with just like a paperclip and a can of jam. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I like MacGyver. Any MacGyver fans in the crowd? No. <laughs> I love that. I like MacGyver. the A-team. He could get out of hot water with just like a paper clip and a cup of hot water. <laughs> Any MacGyver get out fans? Of hot in water the crowd? With <laughs> Any big MacGyver fans? Oh, yeah. I love that guy. That guy yeah. was good, you know. He could get out of a pickle with just like a paper clip. And a pickle. You know? You guys like MacGyver? Yeah. <laughs> no. I like MacGyver. Man, that guy was good, you know? He could get out of between a rock and a hard place with just like a paper clip and a rock and a hard place. Uh, you guys like MacGyver? No. <laughs> I like that guy. That guy was good, you know? He could get out of a hot potato with just sour cream, chives, bacon, and a paper clip. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Is that my time? <laughs> if, you want it, if you want it to be. <laughs> That's my time, folks! Yay! <laughs> Happy <Yay! laughs> Divine! Let's add us. Okay. Look, we're all on here. It's Patrick Devine, everybody. Hey. That was tremendously weird, just as I expected. Uh, Patrick, <laughs> do you like MacGyver? Huh? How do you feel about MacGyver? How do you feel about MacGyver? Fuck that guy. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, man. Now you have to bleep the whole I can't. Now, Facebook, we're so sorry. But, uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to. I, that was really dirty. Loud one. MacGyver could get out of that with one less F and a paperclip. So, <laughs> moisturize. By the way, there's a, Alice, there's a new MacGyver out. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, it's awful. Yeah, they don't use paper clips. It's all staple. I clips. like it. I've watched. It's on the ship. I, I've uh, watched like ten of them now, and uh, I think it's okay. It's not on now though. I think it was on a couple. That years gives ago. you an idea how much mm -hmm. the entertainment on the ship is worth. Well, yes, especially yeah. mine. Yeah. So one more time for Patrick Devine. Hey, where <laughs> Patrick, where can we find you online or in real life? Watching MacGyver. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't be found. Okay, well, I'm glad to, I asked. I have to find you. Okay. All right. I want to apologize now for the fact that I got your website wrong in the closing credits later in this show. Yes. Oh, I don't have a website. That's so why. I got that's it why it's wrong. So. Good luck with that. <laughs> Everybody, go to that website because you need that virus and in your you'll life. Find last week's headliner. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. What so is, that's beautiful. What Steve, is the website? Oh, yeah, no. Well, you'll find out at the end of the yeah, show. At the end of the show, look close during the Tuesday song. Right. Is it a Tuesday? It song? It is a Tuesday song. Well, that's exciting. I got something right this week. Guess what's happening now, folks? Guess what? Costume change. I think no, we're not, I'm musical not. Guest. It's our musical guest. Oh, it's our guest. musical guest. I'm supposed yes. to do that. I forgot. Let's see if I can make it happen smoothly. It's our musical guest. Cha -cha. Our musical guest. Cha -cha. Gonna sing something funny and then Steve will play something in between. Cha -cha. Our musical guest. Cha -cha. Our musical guest. Cha -cha. It's time for our musical guest. Brad and Steve doing a preview of what they're gonna do at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival next week. Which you've all heard a million times. You've heard it a million times. Oh, you're gonna, gonna hear it again. <laughs> this could be fantastic. Yay. Should we just jump in? Jump in. I set up for this. You ready? Everybody yes. ready? Hershey's, Reese's, Snickers, Twix. <laughs> Master, I've brought these shovels. Good, Eagle, That's good. We have much work tonight. Yeah. Oh, and I brought your earmuffs. Yes, Eagle, yes. There you go. It gets cold at night in the cemetery. Yes. And did you bring my latte? Yes. That's just as you ask, skim milk to Splenda. Ah, yes, Eagle. Let's get started. Let's get started. <laughs> We dig in the earth. The graves must be new. The flesh not too rotten. The maggots must be few. I found a good heart. I've unearthed two good legs. A lung, a liver, an arm. An egg? We spend the night searching in the winds all around. Digging for fresh pieces six feet underground. We hunt for limbs and organs. The torches flicker and they shine. Ha ha ha! Pots for Frankenstein! Yes. Frankenstein! When all the pots are collected, add brain, spleen, and face to the hardware stuff of bolts. Screw them tight into place. Frankenstein is ready! Now to bring him to life! I wonder if this works. Should we make him a wife? Hmm. Some say this work is evil. You never play with life and death. But I'll prove it isn't over when you take your final breath. The pieces are in place. The storm is at its height. A possible Frankenstein. Frankenstein will come alive tonight. I'm going to crank this thing up now. Yeah, do it. Butler, do it for us. Yes, Igor, yes. Raise the platform. Gotta get an electric one. Raise. It's time. It's time. Well, who? up the electrodes. Oh, plug them in the wall. Turn on the juice. Hope his heart will not stall. Buzz. Scissor. Yeah. Hey. He's alive. He's awake. Some say this work is evil. You never play with life and death. But I'll prove it isn't over when you take your final breath. The pieces are in place. The storm is at its height. Our parts of Frankenstein have come alive tonight! Ah, 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 ah. Ah. And he's behind us! He, he looks <laughs> awfully hungry. He looks hungry. <laughs> Maybe we should turn around. I don't think we should have done it. <laughs> I hope we're not cake. No. Nope. We're toast. Toast. <laughs> then we're gonna die. Okay, Yay. I'm leaving. Brad's gonna go away. I'm gonna do a song that has nothing to do with this. <laughs> Nothing to do with anything. Nothing to do with anything. It's a love song. And then, it, because as we always do this, our featured, I mean, our musical guest does a song, and then I have to answer it with a song 
that has something to do with that song, but I will have no idea in advance what it was. But since I knew what we were going to do, it kind of ruins the whole thing. So here's a song about ruining the whole thing. Oh. Because <laughs> as you can tell, I'm quite the connoisseur of clothing. Is it a drinking song? It, it can be. If you drink during the song, it is a drinking song. I do not enjoy going to shop for clothes. So here's a song about how I, I wait till absolutely everything has fallen apart before I do it. All my favorite clothes are falling apart. Of all my clothes, it's the ones I hate that don't have holes. They're in good shape. That ugly sweater with the big reindeer. I only wear that once a year. But my favorites are in heavy rotation. Hence, their steady disintegration. Holy Moses, there's holes in my clothes. One of my elbow shows. It's poking through like a big old nose. Holy thread count. I'm wearing my own hand-me-down. My shorts are all see-through. I'm down to half a shoe and my socks just gotta hang in there. Come on, fellas, hang in there. And don't get me started on my underwear. Play your underwear. When my favorite clothes are falling apart, should I put on a bathrobe and head to Walmart? It's full of holes, like I said before, but that's expected at the big box store at midnight. Oh sure, you're all fancy buying new clothes at the Walmart. Actually, when I finally replace clothes, here's where I go. On the first Saturday of the month, I do all my shopping at once. Cause everything's half price at Goodwill, and I don't mind a few mice. For a couple million lies. Oh God, everybody scratch. On scratch off, scratch off. I scratched a hole right through the back of my bridges. Now the moon will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow it'll see the sun. Holy crap, would you look at that? I tore myself a new one. All my clothes, clothes, clothes are falling apart, falling apart, falling apart. Holy Moses, there's holes in my clothes. I'm showing so much skin. I'm practically a Kardashian. <laughs> Holy Jesus, everything's falling to pieces. My shirt's like Swiss cheeses. My pants are full of fleeces. And last year's Halloween Reese's and several species, feces. Hey, connected to the Halloween. That's right, feces. Is <laughs> Come on, hold clothes. You gotta hang in there for one more day. And don't get me started on my lingerie. <laughs> I'm getting the hook, but I'm going to go that way. <laughs> now, right, now, over, now, now let's somewhere. try it. Remember how to go to the thing. I don't know how to go to the thing. Well, we're doing the thing. But without that thing. We're doing the thing. Trust the me. Thing. No, I do don't need thing. that thing. I got this thing. You want the thing. I've got this thing. Oh, is it going to be on that thing? It's going to be on that thing. How'd you get it on that thing? Because I know what I'm doing. All right, put it on that thing. It's on that thing. <laughs> That's a ghost back there. Now that we're done arguing. Oh, wait. Is it, what it's are we the doing? Smothers Brothers Yell at Each Other comedy hour. I don't even know what song we're doing. We're doing the witch song. Oh, well, then why are the ghosts on there? We want the witch. Thing. That's a really good point. Why is there? That's a that's a witch. That's not a ghost. Oh, okay, good. No one can see that. Let's show of hands. Who thinks that's a ghost? Wait. I can't turn this off. Turn off that light. Yeah, no, there. Here we go. See, needs to we've see got it. all the technical. There we go. Now you can clearly tell oh. that we don't know what it is. Yeah, now you can clearly tell it looks no better. It's a witch. <laughs> no, we want to make it very clear, as We're, crystal clear as that picture. We are not anti-witch. We have lots of friends that are witches. We have many. But witch this fans. song for everybody on Facebook is about one particular witch who turns people into animals That's right. and makes us do sounds. And it is not fair. So we're going to do our animal okay. sounds. Here Let's we go. Let's do it. The witch turned me into a newt. <laughs> a newt? I got better. Nah. <laughs> the witch turned me into a frog. Ribbit. Ribbit. Croak. The witch turned me into a cat. Meow! Meow! <laughs> the witch turned me into a dog! Ruff, ruff, ruff. A, a witch, a witch has moved to my town. She'll cook a creepy brew and make you drink it all down. <laughs> it's a hoedown. We're vamping. Vampiring. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the witch turned me into a horse! Nee! Nee! Watch out front row. He's gonna spit on you. <laughs> spit. The witch turned me into a rabbit. Um, yeah, what's up, Doc? I'm now a chicken. Bark! 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 I am not going in there. I'm You're scared. You're just chicken. That's scary. 
I'm a mouse, Dag Nabbit. I'm a baritone Squeak. mouse. Squeak! Squeak! A witch. A witch with She's a rod on her nose. A She'll cook and reap a and night flowing clothes. clothes. You have to buy the record if you want I, to. I wrote the song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cow! Mur, mur. I'm getting the cheesecake! You get the cheesecake, even though you screwed up that line. I I'm a moose! <laughs> hey, Rocky! <laughs> I am a ferret! A fa What's a ferret say? You're supposed to know this. Polly want a cracker! That's a parrot! Uh, I'm a goose! Honk! Honk! Hey, I'm walking here! <laughs> I am a llama! Bah, bah. Run, 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 run. Oh, man, spit! You can see it right there. I'm an otter. As in, you ought to stop doing that. <laughs> I ought to stop. That's right. I am a gorilla's granddaughter. <laughs> a, witch. a witch. A witch. She flies on her broom. Waves her wand and spells your doom. Get it? Spells your doom? Yeah. Spells? It's clever. Well, I would like to be changed to a bird. Cheap. Cheap. Or a flea. <laughs> Let's make a plan. Push, Push the, the witch in the sea, put her in an oven, a tomb or a grave, tie her to a rock, lose her in the cave. A witch, a witch, what can we do to make sure the witch never gets you? What can we do? Oh, I know what we could do. What can we do? Here we go. Zap! Oh, yeah! Yeah, that'll oh. get her. She made me a lion. After the zap. Roar. How's that I'm a lion, too! <laughs> Roar! Roar! What? I don't understand what happened when the lion solved this. Oh, wait, I think I have the answer. You have the answer. I think I do. It is time for which to <laughs> roar. Gulp. No, oh, that's unsafe. That was gross. That's unsafe. That awesome. that By the awesome. way, you know, Steve and I do want to say this. We do. If you're a witch and you turn people into lions, <laughs> getting eaten's on you. Yeah. It really is. <laughs> Yeah, maybe turn people into a lamp. Yeah, yeah, a lamp. Well, but that's not an animal. I know that's you're much less. A like lamb. How about a lamb? Then you could I get eaten. I think lamps don't eat anything. Lambs do eat something. Well, I know, but they don't eat people. I'm aware of that. That's, that's why. Not I, right. I think you're making. My they don't eat witches. They don't eat witches. Mom liked you best. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but a goat will eat anything. Yes, a goat will eat anything. That's that is why there true. will be no goats. Wait, what are we doing now? Is this I think it's is, time for Patty? Is it time? Oh, is Patty still here? Patty, Patty, Patty hasn't quit Patty. this. Patty hasn't quit this show because of this. I can't let's believe remember, it. Remember, you get a witch with a heaven knows Patty somewhere, somewhere hey! out there. She's hey! muted, everybody. Turn on your audio. Patty. Turn on your audio. Unmute, please, Patty. There Hello. she is. There you are. Hi. Hi. How goes life? I'm so tired. I know. <laughs> Let me do the music and then you can tell us all about it. How tired you are. It's time for a big headliner. <laughs> 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 Gotta do 10 minutes, Patty. 10 minutes. Music. Oh, it's time for a Patty Mel. Nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. Patty Vasquez, Patty Mel. From global conflicts to greenhouse gases, the folks refusing to wear masks says, the politicians getting caught grabbing ass says, she's melting down. It's a Patty Vasquez, Patty Mel. It's all about it, Patty. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, I am. Uh... I am hi. I am super tired. I'm really, really tired. I might just melt from exhaustion. Uh, huh. As you can see, I, I am a, a visitor here at uh, Shirley Ryan. I don't know why they Green. call someone who who's been living here for three weeks a visitor, but <laughs> there it is. I'm fine. I'm exhausted. Um, and I'm tired. I'm not just tired because I've been sleeping on an air mattress for the last four weeks. Oh. Uh, basically, mm. feeling like I'm on. I, I feel like I'm on a raft, not like a door raft, like a like in Titanic when uh, Kate Winslet was on that door. And really, I think she had room for Leonardo DiCaprio. Anyway, I'm tired. Um, I, I just, if, if they had just gotten one more door, I mean, he had an ax. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um, that's not the only reason I'm tired. I'm also tired because like, they, they, uh, they come in the room like all, I mean, it's, I have no privacy. I have none. And I like, at home, even when my, my mom, like if I'm in the basement, you guys have seen me when we're doing the show and she'll like just creep up right next to me and I still kind of scream and I'm a little spooked. It's like that like 24 hours a day because 
nurses come in to check his vitals and to give him meds. And then for folks who don't know, my son has been in the hospital for four weeks and uh, he spontaneously lost the ability to walk 10 weeks ago. He's doing very well. He's comfortable. Uh, he's making progress. That's all you need to know. It's uh, another two and a half weeks that we'll still be here. Minimum, maybe more. We'll see. <laughs> Fine. But uh, also I, I tried watching Fox news today. I don't know. Uh, I was just curious. I was curious because I haven't watched it in years. Holy crap balls. They're nuts. I mean, like, we know we talk about it, but oh, they're insane. There was one guy who was talking about he could he could name 12 times that President Biden bent over backwards for China. And then, oh, no, did I freeze? They're good. Oh, they're good. oh um, that Biden bent over backwards for China. And the anchor's like, well, thank you so much for laying out all the re- ways in which Biden bent over backwards for China, only he said he could, and he didn't, and she, she said he did, but he didn't. I am so tired, you guys. <laughs> Have I told you guys about my cervix? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, uh, let's talk about my cervix. I was thinking what? about this. This is the other reason I'm really tired, is it like, I'm 51. I'll be 51. Actually, Steve Goody's going to celebrate my birthday. August 17th! That's Day right. after August. Elvis died. That's good to know. And for as long as I can remember, I mean, I was born just before Roe v. Wade was decided, right? So I never, I never knew anything other than if you needed to have an abortion, you could. That's, I just always knew that. I think it was in an after-school special. I don't know. The more you know, <laughs> but I, I, I do remember the first, my first Pap smear. Did I ever tell you about my first Pap smear? Let's talk about my first Pap. Smear. <laughs> I didn't know I was 15 years old, which now that I look back, apparently is a little bit younger than you're supposed to. And now I'm like, is it because I'm Latina? Like they figure like they may as well get started early because I'm gonna have a bunch of babies. I don't know if that's why, but I'm just I'm just uh, uh, surmising. (laughs) Anyway, so I had a male doctor. Let's call him Dr. Ramirez because that was his name. Oh, wait a minute. Now it makes more sense. Anyway, so. He he said we're gonna do, and, and my mom wasn't there. He I don't know. Okay, anyway, what? so he brought he yeah he brought a nurse in though. So this is where this okay. also kind of I don't know if it's, that's better, right? That he brought a nurse, a woman in, but okay. like, she, came Sorry, up, that's a woman. she came up to my like she came up to that like to my head and was like standing there and like was talking me through it and was like holding my hand, which was also weird. I don't I don't need anyone to hold my hand. Like it's but what, what I wish I'd known then, and I think all the women here will uh, agree. Like that was. 40 some almost 40 years ago no right yeah almost 35 it's the exact same how is it not better yet it's still the the stirrups and i i we've never gotten smart enough to put on a pair of spurs so the doctor says we're gonna feel a little pressure we can be like giddy up Um, (laughs) doc I don't. So that was my first. That was my first. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to tell somebody that uh, we're in room four. All right. Got to get rid of Walter. We're um, not in my vagina anymore. All right. Move on. Sorry. Hang on. I got him. Sorry. (laughs) Back to your vagina. Get out the stirrups. Is it okay that we say vagina? Is everyone. I I have to assume everyone's comfortable. If you're not comfortable with it, I don't. We love medical terms. It's fine. Yeah, because when the boys were little, like I never use like any nicknames for their body parts. Like if I had a girl, I would never would have said like your wee, your woo woo, or your vajayj, or your coochie. Like, mom, coochie. But that's like, uh, like that's the thing. Like my mom called it my coochie when I was little, and like oh not like a fun way. She would always say things like "Make sure you clean your coochie." Like, she's <laughs> 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 oh, English from a German guy. I'm not sure. <laughs> And Coochie's not a good name for it because uh, when I got older and people would tickle me, that was really confusing. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> coochie, coochie, coochie. I'm clean. I don't know why you're in my armpit. Anyway. <laughs> um, no, so my, my – I don't remember my second pap smear, but I do remember my third. I was a freshman in college. And the day before – man, I really remember these things. So the day before I went in for my exam, it was, it was at the University of Illinois, and they called me, and they said, hey – uh, we have some students. Would you be open for a student coming in to observe your pap smear? And I was 18. I mean, even then I was like, sure, they got to learn somewhere. Why not there? So I got there the next day. And when I was in the exam room, they said, you're the only woman who said, yes. Do you mind if we bring in a few more? There were four students. Oh, my gosh. Like, oh, yeah. I, I mean, they may, may as well just I'm like passing out popcorn. I'm like, I'm wide open, boys and girls. Take a look. <laughs> so, 
I apparently have always, I mean, like, I as, as, as comfortable as I can get, but I, like, one time I had a, an exam here at Northwestern. I'm pointing behind me because I'm near Northwestern Hospital. And uh, I, I was in the stirrups and I couldn't, like, I never know why they put that sheet across our knees, like, pay no attention to the doctor behind the curtain, like a puppet show will start. Like, say hello oh. to my little friend. But that would be weird. <laughs> but, I, these are the things I think about when I'm in the stirrups. It's also kind of like, 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 like a crime scene. Like, they're just covering up, like, you don't want to even see what's happening back here. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if the women have ever seen that tray of equipment, but there's a shoehorn on that tray, and I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> world's longest q-tip it's very strange <laughs> and there was at one point and every comic here will admit to this when someone says what do you do for a living never say what you do for a living nah. because of course i made the mistake right i'm a comedian and she popped her head up from between my knees and she's like oh my god i've got stories for you i'm like no <laughs> i don't need any stories of things that were left in there for too long like Barbie doll. <laughs> I, don't care. I don't care uh i so um, but that was one. And then one of the most recent ones, the doctor popped her head up from between my knees and she goes, has everyone, anyone ever told you you have a fragile cervix? <laughs> like, are you name calling now? That's What's true. happening here? <laughs> yeah, well, you got a weak jaw. Back off, doc. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is thank you for letting me say vagina. Oh, that's what I was going to say is I never, I never call the boys body parts, anything like, you know, sort of cutesy. I always, I never said like your dingle, your dangle, your oodle, your noodle, your wee, your willy, your peppy, your pee pee, your schmanky, your tally <laughs> I, never, I never, I don't know if anyone ever used it. I might be missing one. Email me the rest. I'm not yeah. sure. Um, but Dawn, then Griffin came, came running into my room one time when he was like four years old and he loves that I tell this story. Now he's 18. He came running into my room one day, completely naked, like dancing around going, more lotion on my 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 penis, mommy. And I was like, you're just like your father. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am so tired, you guys. I'm going to go upstairs and melt. It was fun hanging out with you. Hi. Oh, hey, hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Yes, Say two things, please. Oh, I say thanks, please. I I'll do the rest of the story next week. Remind me of my fragile cervix next week. Okay. I want to okay. say two things, if I may. First of all, I know... We're getting, all getting older. Our memories aren't as good as they were. But I'm 56, and I can't remember any of my pap spears. Smears. And the <laughs> second thing I want to say, I can't even say it correctly. Is next time you're this exhausted, let us know. We're going to give you 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I have one thing to say. I was in the band Fragile Cervix for two years. <laughs> the trombone, I true. played it. Yeah, I played. I played. I played the Speculum. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Uh, and man, did that thing hum! <laughs> oh, oh man! Right in there, right there. Got the... I can't find it. Here, here, everybody. Wait, right. here, here. If you want to know what's going on under the sheet, here you go. Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, that thing is very cold. <laughs> yeah. You might there feel a little pressure. Yeah, it's a little pressure. A little pressure. A little cramping. Thank you, Patty Vasquez. Yeah, Patty Vasquez, everybody. Go get a nice, good night's rest on that air mattress. You've earned it. Uh, Have you been uh, into your house? When was the last time you were at your house? Um, what day is today? Today's Tuesday. Nope, I have no idea. Oh my god. No. I You'll still know. be there in no, Steve no, Bob in Edinburgh and uh And I'll be on an air mattress. Yeah. <laughs> Last Wednesday I was that, home. Hey, wait. Uh -huh. I have a question for Steve. Okay. Patty, Brad is gonna ask me a question and I want you to arbitrate when, Patty. when we argue. Patty what, uh, we're staying Patty? we're 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 luckily we, we have a flat that your friend has. Is this a furnished flat? It's a furnished flat. Oh, then we have beds. Well, it's a, congratulations. I believe it's a one bedroom flat with a couch that has a bed that folds out in the living room. Oh, so that's where Steve's sleeping. Right. Yes, he's a, because his back's already bad. I don't want to screw mine up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's all fine. It's a big enough bed. You could always share a bed. I mean, you know. That's not true. That's, I don't think that's going to happen. That's not going to happen. So thanks for <laughs> And at this point, I like to say, like to say lady, Tom likes you best. We're just, we're just gonna cuddle. Yeah. They we'll can't even that. share a couch. For <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Patty. I'm removing you again. Ah! <laughs> All right. Check that out right there. This is right. the one where <laughs> out or we beg for money. Go ahead, Brad. You take your choice. Hi, everybody. Patty needs money. <laughs> Uh, you can see she just needs to get anything to get to sleep. Get her a bed in that thing. Go to virtualcomedyshow.com, darn it, and click Donate to the Comedians, and we donate 
to the comedians. Patrick, we can get him another show besides MacGyver. We can buy him a little, <laughs> get him on one of the streaming services. And some more office supplies. And some more uh, some more jokes on that. So the office supply, that's great. Paper clips. And paper clips, yes. And a new t-shirt. I don't Why know. Not? And also, Patty, you know, has $2.5 million in medical bills. So that's good, even with insurance. So go to yeah, Virtual yeah, Comedy Show. And we need to get Steve out of my house. That's, true. that's the other thing. So yes. we need a couple bucks for that. So go to virtualcomedyshow.com and click donate to the comedians and give us half your salary for the year. And we will really appreciate it. You know, it's just like it's just like when you get engaged. 3 months salary right there for just like when you get engaged. Well, most of our audience is unemployed, so let's use a different metric. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, oh, there's no salary. Right. <clears throat> 3 months of what you can borrow on your credit cards. <laughs> <laughs> just send us, you know, gift cards. Just send us gift, gift cards. cards. That's what they want. That's what they all want now. I got a call from a guy who said he was from the IRS. You owe taxes. I said, oh yeah, how much? He goes, well, just send us gift cards. I said, oh, the IRS now wants wants Cheesecake Factory, do they? <laughs> yes, that works out. It was so stupid. How stupid? That's stupid. It must Speaking happen. Of it must stupid. Work. Yes. It is now time for the worst joke of the week. Are yeah, you, I wrote joke? yours. Oh, good. Hang on. Do you want to read it? Not really. Okay. Hang on, but I gotta get this thing to work. I gotta get this thing to work. The show has frozen. Great. All right, we'll just do it this way. Worst joke. Worst, worst joke. Worst joke. Worst joke. Worst joke. <laughs> that was the worst, worst joke, joke ever. ever. <laughs> Go ahead, Brad. And I hope right. I Senator Joe Manchin nah. has. What is? You just covered us up. Can you still see me? Yeah. Yes. yes. I'm really bumming with this. Just go. Senator Joe Manchin has COVID. Boo. Yes. He boo. found out during a pap smear. Okay. <laughs> let's... <laughs> Hang on. I got to get the whole stupid thing working right. I can do this. I we were totally, good for a while. I can totally freaking do this. Yes. It just hates me. I'm going to do the next show from Edinburgh. There it's going to be far, far worse. Two show Yeah. Look at oh, what's come up on. here. I this know, is horrible. I know. I know. Hang on. Anyone, this is because uh, I can't see what I'm clicking. Well, that's computer hates you. Me. Steve needs glasses, everybody. There you go. It's a special time of week oh, oh, oh. when Tuesday bells are peeling and life no longer seems so bleak. Let's open up our presents and carve our Tuesday goose and wait for <laughs> Father Tuesday to <laughs> arrive upon his moose. Tuesday. You know, we tried to incorporate all the wonderful Sorry, family traditions that people associate with Tuesdays. Tuesday comes but once a week, but do not shed a tear. Cause there are more than 50 Tuesdays packed in every year. And every single one of them is full of mirth and glee. So stuff your face and break some wind and join the reverie. Have a very merry Tuesday. Put on your orange fez. And decorate the Tuesday tree with milk, bone, spam, and pez. Once you've curled your mustache and donned your Tuesday clothes, I'll catch you neath the mistletoe and punch you in the nose. Merry Tuesday. Merry Tuesday.